Hi guys, Josh from Josh's Royal Adventures here. Today's review is quite remarkably one of my favourite locos of all time. From the last one being the Akira Scale Delta, that's definitely up there. But today's review, I can't fault Dapo of the new, well, they released it before, of the 68. And most, as most of you know, the 68s are my favourite locomotives, modern locomotives, to date. And my God, this is the second time I've owned a Transpennine 68. First one was Brutus, and that was like three, four years ago, that was when they first brought those ones out. And as you know, why I got this, the 68031 Phoenix, which reported code is 4D-022-022, Class 68 Phoenix 68031 Trans Pennine Express. That's the clue. Because if you look, you got there the first um, group company. It says Trans Pennine Express, a first group company. And yeah, look at it. Is one of the best looking locos to date. If I take it off the track, it doesn't have any yellow panels, which is um, weird to be honest with you because I'm used to having all my models with yellow panels. I'm trying to sit, yeah I think most of mine have got yellow warning panels and this is the first ever review with no yellow panels so that's a weird thing to say to be honest because the 68 is a magnificent looking loco it is because I bought this today from Colonel Model Rail because I was originally going to get the DCC fitted one but I heard they're coming in the next three weeks but thanks to one of my subscribers called BBC Model Rail Eddie Rob or something like that, aka I know him, but he's called Kevin, he is, so he told me, he said why not get like the standard one, and also get an Imprinium decoder, because it relatively is pretty much the same price if you buy, but it's, a whole lot less. It came to 157.99, which I would have saved three pounds. But as I had a look points, like at Kerno, I had like 500 points, which is five pounds. I bought it for 152.99, which in fact the price of the standard one is so much better than buying like uh, class 60 from Hornby, the 60 is expensive. This is where Dapple come in and my god they do a really good job and I thought I just saw on top of the 68, I thought it was like a polystyrene thing like there but it looks like Something like an aerial or something, which is quite cool. Because so, the 68 
is one of the best looking locos and best sounding as well because the 68s are just magnificent locos they sound amazing they look amazing that's why it's my favorite loco right now for the most modern because as you know why I got the Transpan 68 is because of the Acura Scale Mark 5s, which should be coming in the next couple of months, I have heard. Because it's going to be one of the best, that this is definitely up there for being the best loco of the year. At the moment, it's between this and the Deltic, but as you know, the livery is quite exquisite. It is, because I love the livery I do of the Trans Pennine livery, in my opinion, because I love the different blues you get, like there and there, the silver, the I think it's purple, I think. It looks purple rather than pink. But the 68s are just magnificent looking locos. And I got to admit, this loco is the best detailed model from Dapple. I would say it's the best dapple modern loco up there because this is the only one they've done so far in modern day times that they are bringing out the 59 but I'm not sure when they are coming out but the 68 whoa, what a loco it is, because if you look at the bogeys, they are amazing. And all the tampo points in the lawn here is just amazing. There's no um, marks on it or anything like that. The 68 is remarkably the best dapple loco there is to date and tell me in the comments down below if you've got one because I know one of my subscribers called Southline Sutherline which I will link his channel as well as um, Kev's channel as well so I will link their channels down below Danny from Southline Sutherland is almost at 800 subscribers and BBC Eddie Rob aka Kevin he's close to 500 so um, um subscribe to their channel so I urge you to get more for their channels because I know um Southline Southline's got exactly the same livery, but he's got the other one, which I can't remember which one. I can't remember what number that one is, and also what name. But this one, I wanted to get it because Phoenix is one of his um, cats at Huddersfield train station, and in fact, I think the 68s go through there. They do for like. When they do, that is, because I know they do the Scarborough to York services and occasionally to Manchester Airport. And I thought with these, I thought they would have like a destination board in the cab, but I can't find anything of that. But I do love the detail on this model. It's one of the best locos I've owned before I did have a DRS one years ago and then 
the Brutus version of this livery, but now I got 68031 Phoenix. <laughs> Excuse me. But would I recommend you getting this particular model? Yes, I certainly would, because these 68s are the bee's knees of models. And I'm going to say it's out of this or the Delta, but I think because the 68 is one of my favourites at the moment, this is the loco of the year. It's, it might be a joint winner, but who knows? That, that will be more later this year rather than now because I still got loads to come. I still got um, one more loco but there may be a surprise one on my birthday so keep an eye out for that one. So I will leave the review video here. Hope you enjoyed this review of the new, well I say new, they've been out for years but it's came out this week it has so um it's just amazing as you know and the next review should be in August of the Akira Scale um Dragon Pack that should be the next one because I got loads of orders to come from Akira Scale, including the Mark V's or the Transpanine, the Cali ones, also um, the Mark II pack, the RTC one that is, the 37, Andromeda, um, that's pretty much it for reviews, so keep an eye out for when I pop up on YouTube so there may be some other videos in between because I think I will do a explanation video because I'm going to upload the videos when I get uh, my models so I will just bring them out straight away now I'll, uh, that might be next video next week, but I don't know yet. But I will still be around if I'm not uploading every week. So, if you are new around here, smash that red, to red subscribe button down below and click the bell for all notifications, please, guys. And also, like this video and share this video so everyone will know that I've uploaded my videos and I'm going to say stay safe, take care, this is Josh from Josh's Warrior Adventures here, I will see you guys in the next video, see you guys, bye.